All right, so hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm John. Hey, welcome to my channel. If you're new, it, if you're not, well, hi. Three weeks. Now I have a new camera. It's actually a uh, Canon Rebel uh, T7i. It's nice. I have the 10 to 18 millimeter lens on it right now, so it is really, really sweet. I've used this in quite a few good photos, but anyway, today I'm going to be teaching you guys, um, if you're thinking about buying it, <coughs> or any Canon camera that has this function, I'm going to teach you guys um, how to um, set it up with the Canon app, the Canon uh, Camera Connect app, so that you can see what you're doing and so you can take long exposure photos without having to press the shutter release button. Alright guys. Um, I'm gonna put it up like over here. I'm gonna put the uh, screen up over here. Um, so first, you're gonna want to open the um, Camera Connect app. So once you uh, once you do that, um, you're gonna want to turn on your camera. So you just turn on your camera, obviously, by push by pressing this little lever here, which turns it on and brings up a little screen on it. Um, it says it just basically gives you the information for you know what you have then what you want to do is you're going to um so you guys can see that it is already connected to the bluetooth so um what you do for setting up the bluetooth is you set it up uh by going into the menu you go to the little yellow settings tab and on the first page there is wireless communication settings uh, and then you can turn on the Wi-Fi and everything and then you can uh, set, set your Bluetooth function to smartphone um, otherwise it won't connect uh, to a smartphone um, and then you can do a nickname and everything so yep so now once you have done that you can do the remote um, the remote live shooting so you can press that and then it's going to connect to the camera and then if you see this on the top of the camera if it wants to focus Jesus, man, focus, focus, focus. If you, see, you guys can see it, it's out of focus though. Um, there's that little flashing uh, green dot. Um, and that just basically says that the that is connected to the thing. Now, now as you guys can see on the screen, uh, the app does uh, freeze up sometimes. Um, but really you're not going to be using it for like wildlife photography. You're not going to be using it while it's moving because you know, it's not the best. So what I would use this for is I would use it for long exposure shots when it's on the tripod and everything. Yeah. And then, so you can switch from the camera mode to the video mode, which turns on the uh, dual pixel autofocus system that we're you know focuses without you having to press the uh, shutter button but basically it can just move around and you guys can see how it focuses automatically as a 10 millimeters but you guys can see how it focuses automatically and yeah and then from here you guys uh, you can press the record button which is that big red dot or even in the camera you can release the shutter um, so if I just press this little white button here boom it takes a picture you can hear it take a picture um, and then if you back out of that you guys can you see the images on camera so if you press that you can see all the photos I've taken recently and videos so yeah um, then you can also change your camera settings and yeah um, you can do the location information and stuff like that. Um, but what's really uh, what's really cool about this is that you can do long exposure shots without having to buy a um, without having to buy a 
an external shutter release which costs money whereas if you have a cell phone you can just download the camera and the, the Canon camera app straight from there and it should be good All right, guys so that's how you uh, can connect your camera to the Canon app if it does have if you can you can that's how you can connect your Canon camera to the Canon app if it does have the Bluetooth and um, the Wi-Fi enabled uh, on it um, it's really it's really simple there's other better well yeah there's other better videos on YouTube but I thought I'd take my crack at it so that way I can upload a video anyway so thank you all so much for watching subscribe uh, still need to work on that outro and that intro but anyway thank you all so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video um yeah goodbye